Do you guys ever feel like there's something big looming over you, you know? Like, just something you can't really stop. Wait, wait, where's the camera going? Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what is up, everybody? We are here at the One World Trade Center today. Uh, we're going to be going up to the top. We also, on this day today, we went to the top of the Empire State Building. So we're, we're really, we're getting a lot done today, and I'm very tired and exhausted. This is the fourth video that I shot today. So I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get pumped. I'm trying to get crazy, you know? It's gonna be great. Uh, the last time I was up, it was very disappointed. I was, I was only up once. Um, I went up and there was fog and mist and you couldn't see anything and like none of the footage was clear. Oh, it was so, so frustrating. Uh, so I'm really excited to go up because it is a beautiful day. Uh, it's not too hot, it's windy. Um, you know, there's some clouds in the sky, but it's, you just see blue sky everywhere. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, so we're gonna go over right now, get through security, take off my belt for the seventh time today. Um, I'm not bitter about it, but we're going to go up and we're going to have an amazing time because it is fun to go up to One World Trade Center and I'm going to get to do it the right way this time. That's tall. So a, a lot of people don't know, this is actually not uh, the, the base level of uh, One World Trade Center. The base level is very, very far down. They did this specifically for terrorism. America's largest skyscraper would be placed on a 200-foot pedestal lifting the office floors 20 stories above the ground and away from danger. This protective pedestal would be made from the strongest steel in the world and wrapped in solid concrete armor. These are the blast walls, impenetrable walls filled with tons of reinforcing steel bars and packed with high strength concrete, capable of deflecting any ground level attack. Sorry, just didn't want to say it too loud. Uh, but yeah, you know, it's a smart idea, especially nowadays. See, now we're going down to the base. Wow, this lobby is huge. I like the marble, you know, sometimes it's weird, but this time it works. Oh, they didn't have this the last time. This is cool. Welcome to the top of the world. Jeez, look at all this. Yeah, they didn't have any of this. Wow, this is cool. Whoa, look at this. We're down in the bedrock. This is cool. Welcome to One World Observatory. Well, we're going to see a movie now. Dynamic, diverse, and ever-changing, the city and skyline reveal themselves uniquely to each observer. Experience the infinite facets of the city beneath us as you prepare to see forever.
no, no, don't go away. No, please. Please. Oh, I can see the view already. Look at the Brooklyn Bridge. Statue of Liberty. Oh my gosh. All right, after they made me try to pose for like 15 pictures, we are finally here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, I really, really enjoy that. It's supposed to be like the skyline. But you have the perfect skyline right here. Now you can't see it, but all the way out there, there is the 9-11 memorial we actually went to that was given to us by Russia. Also the Statue of Liberty. More important, I would argue. But, you know, that's a plug to another video, so <laughs> why not? Oh, there's Jersey. Gross. <laughs> Disgusting. Uh, Ellis Island. Oh my gosh. You can look down. Some of the World Trade Center buildings. Wow. I mean, you have fantastic views up here. Wow. There's two pieces of World Trade Center metal somewhere along here. I'm trying to remember where exactly. I know there's another memorial right here, but there's one further down and it, there's two pieces of uh, column metal. Uh, it's right down here, just in case you're interested. You know, this isn't a 9-11, a you know, video, but still. Wow. We're even higher up than we were before. Look how far you can see. This is crazy. Oh, that's World Trade Center 7 right there. Wow. Holy crow, look at the sights I'm seeing. There's the Brooklyn Bridge over there. Hey, look at that. Wow. <laughs> you can see everything now. Man, you can see right into World Trade Center 3. That's crazy. Um, oh, you can also see that uh, new church that they built. How windy do you think it is up there? <laughs> that, uh, dude, that's crazy. Oh, and up there too. Wild. What? Why? Who, who wanted this? Come on. All right, so I should be able to see Coney Island, I'm pretty sure, from here. Uh, but I'm not really sure where it is, so I'm going to point to where it is, and then that's where it is. Oh, I wish I could see the Titanic pull in here. That'd be great. It would have been pulling in right there. <sighs> And you know, it's it's awesome, but that is pretty much it. <laughs> there we oh. go. Willy Wonka. I don't like him. Just like in the movie Willy Wonka. Thank you for visiting One World Observatory. I think One World Trade Center is really cool. Uh, I don't know that it's something that you need to go to more than once. Um, you know, I went up the one time and I had a horrible view and this time I had a great view, so I'm good. You know, I have the great pictures and footage from it uh, and I made a vlog, so now you guys have all seen it. But like, I don't, I don't need to go back again. And especially with the price, like, it's nice, but I wish there was more of an exhibit. I wish they talked about how difficult it was to build this One World Trade Center. Because there were debates and debates and debates and debates and screaming and yelling and 
you're being disrespectful, you know, just back and forth on what to build, how to rebuild uh, this facility at all. Um, so I really wish they had any history in there. They say some discovery stuff, you're just discovering the view, you know. Um, I would say that the Empire State Building is better than this just because of that history uh, and the cool little exhibits that it has. This is just like, hey look, it's an awesome view. Money! <laughs> uh, you know, and it's not terribly priced, it's not greatly priced, but it's like, you know, whatever. I, I, then again, Empire is overpriced, so what do I know? You know? <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you guys so much for watching, and I guess we'll have to see what we're doing next time. Bye.